Today we will learn how to mask shadows. This Photoshop tip will come in handy when you're composing. Please watch the whole video and subscribe to my channel and support me. I'm using these two photos for today's tutorial. One is a photo of a banana on a white background and the other is of vegetables and greens on a table. First take the banana photo and place it on top of the vegetable photo. Then go to select and select the subject. We have successfully selected the banana. This is not a difficult selection. You can also select this photo easily with the quick selection tool. Now click on the mask icon. If you don't know where the mask is you can find it at the bottom of the right side. After the layer mask is added take the transform tool and set the composition as you want. Now if you notice the composition doesn't look natural because the reason for that is shadows. While creating layer mask we selected only the subject and left the shadows. Now we need to add the shadows in the composition then the final result will look realistic. Right click on the layer and select duplicate layer. This will recreate the existing layer. Then click on the layer mask and invert it. Control or Command plus I. Now it looks like the first layer which placed, but we need to blend it with the below layer. To do so select linear, burn in the blending drop down menu. If you observe a bit more clearly, you will see black lines on both sides. The reason for that is the lighting difference in the two photos. The photo was taken in two different locations. Not only the locations, but also the lighting conditions are very different. So now we need to match the lighting of the layer above with the layer below. Double click on the layer. The blending options panel will open and in it we want blend if. One thing to remember well to blend the shadows is to move the white slider. To fix the highlights means to move the black slider. Here we are masking the shadows, so we need to move the white slider. Sliders are in two parts. We can separate them in half by holding Alt key. Adjusting the white slider until the lighting matches. We can put any layer in any position we like and move it. The lighting still looks a little dark to me. So let's go into blending and move the white slider a little more. Now it is set correctly. In this way we can easily mask the shadows. Hope you found this Photoshop tip useful. If you want more useful tips and tricks then subscribe PS Desire channel.